Hey guys, Will from Access Performance, and we're just going through a machine uh, normal lat pull down uh, that you would find in any gym pretty much. The main one that people would use. Uh, so, both arms at the same time on this one. Uh, lots of different grips. This is a mag grip, medium grip that uh, I really like, but you, it doesn't matter whether it's wide, medium, close. They're all going to have fairly similar techniques. So, just like the rows, we were going to sit down. Jam my knees under this, but at the same time also I like to get my heels into the ground and pull so I get a little bit of hamstring happening and also make sure I'm vertically stacked, so hips, torso, head all on top of each other. If, if that means moving back a little bit, that's cool as well. From here, as I do the pull down, I'm just going to make sure I'm not rowing back and forth. That's the main mistake that I hear from people is just pulling down, chest up, they do this big arch. and. Um, Although you might be able to lift a lot more weight that way, uh, it takes away from the target muscle groups and um, uh, gets a little bit disconnect with the, the, the abs and, and some of the other stuff that we want uh, happening along with the use of those lats. So the stacking is uh, the better option for our purpose. I'm gonna grab it, sit down, sit up in the position that I said here. And then from here, just exhale a little bit, get the ribs down and just Nice and controlled through full range of motion. Making sure that at the, on the way out, we control it as well. Nice and simple like that. So as you can see, no swinging around, no swaying around, no big chest arch towards it. Uh, all of those have a time and a place, uh, but for us, this is going to be the one that's going to give us the most bang for buck and the least uh, training side effects in terms of being up our shoulders. So if you have any questions with this, shoot us a message.